arkadaşlar. Konuşacak mı? Konuşmayacak, açıklama yapmayacak. Evet. Giriyoruz değil mi? Evet. Beyler ama oluyor. Yukarıda lift. Yukarıda yukarı çık, binaya çık. Aha. Hemen orada zavutalar falan var. Görmedin mi? Pardon. Hadi, hadi. Evet. 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 Nasıl olduklarını soruyor. Nasıl I went to do the anchor and it pulled it and took my finger down with it. And I was ah screaming and I ripped and my finger came off. When I first saw the conditions and the situation that um, you know you had to deal with and everything, it was really hard for me um, because you have three beautiful children and a father who's strong enough to you know take care of them but there's only so much he can physically do. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have my parents through ups and downs, but still. So um, if I can be there as a, you know, if I can be a present source for people to understand that it just takes, um, you know, one visit, two visits, becoming friends with the family. It's not as it's not as scared. People are afraid of this. You know, Americans are very f fearful of coming here and and recognizing things. And you can go and take a picture, but you don't actually follow up with it. And it just takes one person to then another person see it, to then go and put yourself into where everything's happening, learn about it. I can't look, I'm not a politician, I can't speak on anything until I actually experience it myself. And once you're in this with this precious little thing that grabbed me at the door, and you do these, when, when you're with these, these children um, and these families, you actually realize how lucky you are. Especially, you know, Americans thinking it's scary over here. It's really not, and it takes someone to go in, figure it out, come back, help again, and just keep doing it um, to change things. It, it's not going to be just one time that I come here. It's not going to be two times. It's going to be a continuous thing that I, I hope to do. Turkey's a beautiful country, and it's you have amazing people. It's a beautiful place, and no one recognizes that. You know what's interesting? Because my mother called me, and she says, you know what the saddest part is? People aren't recognizing that you've gone and what you've done and that you're going back, and they don't know that. All they say is, oh, maybe she's doing it for publicity. Maybe this is a PR. No, because I didn't tell anyone I was coming. It was, you know, I came here and I, I, we literally met on a whim, and I met with um, some people, and they were gracious enough to take me. I said, no, I want to go now. And then when my finger got injured the other day, you guys said, well, we can postpone everything. I said, what, I'm going to postpone things because I'm hurt? <laughs> no, it's my finger. I can still walk. I can still talk. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, so I don't, I don't really read American press. I've tried to stay away from it since I left uh, the U.S., to be honest. Um, but I do know the perceptions are very different, and, and it really hurts me because it isn't bad to come here. It is good to help, and it is good to give back. And I've, I'm in a position now where I can use my voice to actually tell people that, whereas I'm not just doing it just to do it. It really is something that I'm passionate about.